Wait, 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 not pulling, no pulling. No pulling. No pulling. This way, this way. Stay on Stay on top of it. Look at this, look at this. Not so hard, no less. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Okay, slowly. Loose, loose, loose. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Arriba, arriba. Arriba.
Femme et ta fille Ouais, ouais. c'est pas bien. Ah, apparemment. Si ils étaient prévenus, ils étaient prévenus. Even the Prime Minister of India was 
Indira Gandhi, and she was not allowed to enter in Devanna, what to say others? <coughs> they think that she was not pure Hindu, she was any Parsi or other thing. They also have doubt that I am <coughs> also not Indian sometimes. They tell that from where you have come? <laughs> I told that I have come from Bihar or Bengal or from Vrindavan I have come. But your eyes are not like Indian. <laughs> then I used to tell that you can bring my panda of Pujaganath Puri. He is very high class of worshipper and one of the most important men of Jagannath Puri. My Panda came and told, oh yes, he is my old, like disciples and he is my plant. Then they were satisfied. Once I did, there was a girl of uh, Japan, the Chinese perhaps, Chinese uh, disciple of Tamal Krishna. He wanted to see Jagannath. I told that you should tell that I am Manipuri. And she told that I am Manipuri, they left. But there are some doubt and they were following her. I told that at once go and take this and fly away from here. <laughs> so they were also following me and that Devotees also, but they could not pray. Where she gone? That was the took darshan. The devotees who are so black, uh, even they may be of America, or of South Africa, or anywhere, they will, they will told, tell that I am Indian. They will believe it. If Govinda Bhakti will go there and he will tell that I am Indian, they will believe it and they will let him. <laughs> you can go easily, <laughs> but don't go with any white. No? I tried one time three days, many years ago. Huh? I went in, I was in, but I had my face down. I didn't know that you have to take your chapels off. Huh. Then they stopped me, they want to beat me with the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, there was a mountain. He was pure hearted devotee. Always he was used to chant Hare Krishna. But they were not allowing to enter temple. He left his food and everything, not taking water also. And he was, he was doing hunger strike on the gate of Jagannath, Singha Tarvaja, on the east side. And he was only dancing, remembering. And after that he became, after two, two, three days, he became so weak. So he sat down there and always, Patit Paman Prabhu Jagannath, Ha Jagannath. Hmm? I have heard that you are so mercifully, merciful, but you are not giving me darshan. They are all making some checking and all other things. Jagannath became so merciful. In the night, at 11, 12, he opened the main door of the temple and he came out alone without Baldev and Subhadra. And he passed through oh, doors and he came just on the door Singha Dvarvaja. And there he was sitting there. On the left side of the building, right side, right side and in, when you go out, then left. He was sitting there. That one then was a salvage. He saw from there and began so happy and began to dance and sing. They opened the door of Jagannath. When Jagannath is there or not to do us at four, they saw that Jagannath is not there. 
They began to search, searching here and there. At last they came to the door, Singha Darbarba. And they saw that Jagannath is sitting here alone here. What he is doing? They saw that that the Mohammedan devotee was chanting, remembering, singing and weeping, and Jagannath is also weeping. After that, he was satisfied, Mohammedan devotee, and he went away. And Jagannath was again recalled where they took Jagannath in the temple. So how he was Padipa? Once the king Pratap Rudra, the father of Pratap Rudra, he was so young. And he had at that time no marriage, about 24 years age. Very beautiful. And very young and very strong. Some king of South India, they wanted to give, he wanted to give his daughter in marriage to Pushottam Jana, the father of Pratapu. They came and they thought that they will do, I, I will give my daughter to this young king, Rajkumar princess. But one day, he wanted to see with his family whether he is so beautiful and all are agreed to give my, this daughter to him or not. So all with family he came. They heard that king is at Puri and this today festival, Jagannath festival was there. And that young king had a broom and he was brooming the way in which Jagannath will go, chariot will go. The broom was of, made of golden sticks and rose water and so many very uh, sugandhi, fragrant water was given there. King himself, without soup, without royal bread, like a common person, and he was zooming there. That king who wanted to give his daughter to this princess, prince, he saw that, oh, I wanted to give my daughter to that princess, but he is not qualified. He is brooming, he is like a sweeper. I don't want to give my daughter to this sweeper. And he returned. And he cancelled that thing to marry. After some time, this young prince, what name? Prasottam Jana. He asked his counsels that that king wanted to give her his daughter to me in marriage, but now I am seeing no symptom that he will give. Why? They told that you were brooming the Jagannath festival day, and that is why he thought that you are like a sweeper, so he don't want to give to his daughter to any sweeper. Oh, this is the fact then I should invade him. And he collected all his soldiers, generals, and attacked to Vidyanagar. Vidyanagar is in the south India, where they came was. Very big battle was there, fierce. But that king of Vidyanagar was, was worshipping Ganesh. Ganesh, you know? For Sundhwala. Ganesh. So Ganesh came and began to fight with all and he defeated all. 
That jana, friends, pushatam jana, was defeated. And he returned empty hands. And he went to Jagannath. Jagannath, for you I am I was brooming. And I know that you will help me at all times. But I was defeated by him, that king. Ganesh came and defeated us. So it is a very shameful thing. Then, in world, in world, all we know that Jagannath has no power. And his disciple or his devotee is not powerful. He is very powerless person. And insignificant. Then, a son from the Jagannath temple comes and says, Again you should try. You have not called me before. You went direct. So I could not help. But now I will help you. You should again march with our old soldiers and general. I will help you. Now he was very happy and again he made arrangement of invading that place. He collected more soldiers and general and he quickly marched towards Vidyanagar, South India. When he was he marched, Jagannath and Bandai. Jagannath was on a red horse. And Baladev Prabhu ride on? White horse. No, no. Baladev was on white horse. And Krishna was on red, uh, red horse. Very beautiful horses. Very strong. And they were like 16 years age, both Krishna and Baladev. One sham and other very golden colors. They were going to have a so much a belief, to create belief that we are going for you, to fight for you. They wanted to make any luxury symptom that king should know that we are going. So <coughs> they are going before, um, they were going ahead. ahead. Uh, about two miles uh, there was difference. King was backward and he was in forward. In a village a Gwalini was coming. Gwalini means? Milkmaid, very old lady, taking some card in his paw. Krishna and Balde told Mother, we want to take your card because we are so much thirsty. It was the day of summer day. Can you give me? She told that I am old man, old man, old woman. I want some money to give this. I can sell. If you have something, I can give you. He told that we have nothing, but our Lord King is coming. So he used to tell that your two soldiers were going. One was blackish and other was golden color. They were riding on the horses with their weapons. Yeah. with their swords. How the, the king will recognize. recognize that you are their soldiers? They told, Krishna told, told her that I am giving a anguti, a ring, that was of golden color, gold. And it was written on that gold, Jagannath. And it, it has been given by king himself some time before. The king and his wife gave this golden ring to Jagannath. And it was written, Jagannath, I am giving you this thing. And you should give 
the king, then he will recognize that we are his soldiers. So you should give me. So what she has curled, they took both. And then pot was empty. They took all. And happily they went. After some time, one hour after, king with his all soldiers, lakhs and lakhs, he was there. The old woman was searching, where is king, where is king? All told that king is there. Then she went to the king and told that, you two soldiers, very beautiful young, riding on horse they were going and they asked for my butter and um, curd. I gave them, but I wanted some money for that. But they told that we have nothing, our king is coming and he will pay. So he, he told that, you should pay, you should pay for my car. He told that, uh, how can I know that they were my soldiers, my all soldiers are with me, anyone has not gone there, any forward. He told me, yes, I have seen, I have given this. Have you any proof? Oh yes, I have proof. She took the thing and gave it to King. They were not there. Uh, that king saw, oh it is written Jagan. This is the same ring, golden, that I have given to Jagan And oh, you know the names of them? Yes, they told their names. What names? They told that my name, black was telling that my name is Krishna Jagannath and, and he was telling that my name is Baladev. Oh, they can become very inspired. And he has strong belief that Krishna and Baldevi are going for fighting me. And now I will conquer and defeat that king. He went and Ganesh came. Krishna and Baldev defeated Ganesh as they pointed him. And they told that he is Bhanda Ganesh. Bhanda Ganesh means? <coughs> and they took from there. King was defeated there. And he flight fled away from there, this young king, princess, prince, he took that girl, the, he, she was prisoned, and all his counselors were prisoned, and a very good, beautiful deity of Radha Kanta was taken from there, and that Radha Kanta deity is still in Puri, in Radha Tantamat, in Gambhira, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to live. Sarshi Gopal from there, he took, and my Ursinkasam, so many things he took, and he came. He told that I will marry this girl to my sweeper. He decided that. Raya Ramananda and all others were worried for this. That king has promised that he will marry this, that girl of Vidyanagar with his sweeper. He was ready to give. But they told that, wait a little. You can this, marry her with uh, your sweeper, but wait a little. In the meantime, again this came, Arajatra. And he was brewing in the front of Jagannath Ratha. Raya Mananda, Pratapurtam, and Sarvam Bhattacharya and all others, their counsel, told that girl that go at once to king and tell, tell that I will marry only this sweeper, not any other. <laughs> the girl can, the princess can. <coughs> And told that I will only marry with this sweeper, not any other sweeper. All the counselors of king came and your wife, yes, yes, very good. We agree to this. We want that this very sweeper should marry this girl. At last, he was bound to marry this girl. From that girl, he married and Pratap Rudra king the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
so he is so patitham. He is very bhakta vatsal. Who is he? Now, we should come to our point. In Shatta Yuga, in ancient times, there was a king named Indra Dhyumna. He was of Middle India, like Ujjain, where Krishna used to go to learn from some divinity. He was a very powerful king. Some devotees came from Nilachal and Nil Madhav. Nil Madhav are in the east coast of India. Indian coast, on Indian ocean. Their deity was so beautiful, four-handed. Krishna four-handed there. So he was called Nil Madhav. They appreciated and glorified that Nil Madhav. Anyone who will go there and take darshan of that deity, they will be four-handed and give it up this body, four-handed they will go to Vaikuntha. Not only this, if anyone uh, think in his mind, Shankalpa Karega, makes a, a vow, makes a vow, makes a vow, promise. and promise that Tomorrow I will go there to see Nirmala. But anyhow he was died. 